Yeah, good morning. So welcome to this session. So in this particular session, I will be continuing with the projectors of lines and uh, I think this will be the last class where in the previous session I had just uh, given a glimpse of uh, the application of lines. Let me do two more problems so that uh, you will appreciate the importance of this particular uh, chapter. Okay, let us do this problem. A room is 5 meters long, 4 meters wide and 4.5 meters high. A fan is suspended vertically from the center of the ceiling at a distance of 0.75 meters from it. The switch point is kept at 5 meters long wall at a height of 1.5 meters from the ceiling and 2 meters from the side wall. Determine graphically the distance between switch and fan. So as I had told you in the previous session also, first I need to draw the ortho projection of the room. So anyway, we know the room dimensions. So room dimensions is given as 5 by 4 by 4.5. But it has been mentioned that 4.5 meter is the height. Now since this is the height, you know that the height will be always seen in the front view. So in the front view, I will take this height. And along with this height, I need other dimensions. The other dimensions can take I either we have an option of taking 5 meters or 4 meters wide. Now since it is given is wide now, it is better you take 4 meters width in the front view itself. That is in the front view, I need to draw the rectangle of 4 meters by 4.2 meters. That is your front view. Okay, what about the corresponding top view? Top view, I will see two more times. What are the two more times? I can see. Anyway, I cannot see this 4.2 meters because anyway it is a height now. Height I cannot see from the top view, I can see 4 meters and 5 meters. Okay, so let us draw that. So as usual, we'll draw the xy line. And as you can see, I will take some scale now. Because I have just given in terms of meters. So let us take some scale. Okay, so let me take the scale as 10 mm is equal to 1 meter. Okay, I can just take in this way. Okay, now anyway, now I want this uh, 4.5 meters. So 4.5 meters corresponds to how much? 45 mm. So I can just write 45 mm. Or if you want, you can increase the scale also to increase. Let us say we take 10 mm is equal to 0.5 meters. I think so that uh, you will get a little bit uh, figure to be a little bit presentable. Okay, now since I have given 4.5, I should take 90 mm. So I will take 90 mm as the height okay then what about the width i have given 4 meters so i should take how much then i should take 80 mm so take 80 mm then complete this so you can see this i have just taken this to be 4.5 meters this i have taken as 4 meters so this is the front view of the room now i should draw the Top view of the room. So, what about the top view of the room? Anyway, 4 meters we have. Other dimension, which is the other dimension, the third dimension, nothing but the 5 meters long. That is the length of the room. So, length of the room, I can say it will be seen in top view. So, let me do that. So that this will be fine. So as you can see, we have just drawn the top view, front view of the room. Now, the purpose is I need to locate the location of the fan as a switch in this particular problem. Now let us first concentrate on the fan position. Let us see. It is given that a fan is suspended vertically from the center of the ceiling at a distance of 0.75 meters from it. Okay, now if I look from the front, I can see what dimension I can see. As you can see, I have given it is 0.7 meters from the ceiling. So, you know that if I look from the front, I can see the distance from the ceiling. Whereas, if I see from the top view, I cannot see that particular distance. So, I can and visualize that this particular distance, 0.7 meters will be seen in front view. Of course, we'll say anyway, in this particular figure, which is ceiling here, this is ceiling, this is floor, then we have all those are walls. Is it okay? Now anyway it is from the ceiling. So ceiling it should be 0.75 meters. But where do you locate here? To locate that he has gone one more uh, 
information. What is that information is given? This particular fan is suspended vertically from the center of the ceiling. Okay, now anyway, if I look from the front, in the front view, I cannot visualize where exactly that particular center. Because anyway, I can see only the ceiling. Now, ceiling is seen as only line. I cannot see the entire ceiling. So, where do you see this entire ceiling? If I want to look from the top. If I look from the top, this itself the ceiling. So, as you can see in this particular uh, top view, this particular rectangle represents not only ceiling, it will also represent the floor. Because all the other lines are, I can say walls. They are all vertical walls now. That is, if you look from the top, this particular first, I can say this rectangle, first rectangle I can say will be ceiling. Then we have another rectangle corresponds to this, which I cannot see from the top view. So that should be corresponding to what? Corresponding to your floor. Then what about the other lines? There are corresponding to your walls. That is, you have four adjacent walls, a ceiling and the floor. Okay, now anyway, it is given that it has been placed centrally. So where do you get the center distance? In the top. So how do you get this uh, center point here? If I join this diagonal. So let me join these diagonals. And of course, I can draw all these lines as light as possible, remember, because my purpose is to locate the location of the fan, not interested in these lines. So, these lines has to be as light as possible. Okay, now I have just located this point. Let us consider this point as O. Anyway, top view point is, let us say it is O. Or let us say if it is a fan, no? let me say F also, I can say. Let us say it is F. Okay. Where do you locate this particular point F dash in the front view? We know that this particular location of the fan in the front view, if I say it is 0.75 meters from the ceiling. This is the ceiling now. So from the aesthetic points, so what is 0.75 corresponds to it is equal to 15 mm. So what to do then? I will just draw a projector through this. So draw this projector. Then from this, I will take this distance to be equal to 15 mm. So let me consider this distance as 15 mm. So that what is this point now? This is F. Then what about that point then? That point has to be F dash. Okay, as we have seen, already we have located the location of the fan, both in the top view as in the front view. That is F dash is the front view, F is the top view. Now I need to locate the location of the switch. So where is the location of the switch it is given? It is given that the switch point is kept at 5 meters long wall. So which is that 5 meters long wall now? As you can see in this particular figure, if you see the dimensions, where you are finding the 5 meters long wall? Either in the top or in the front view? That is in the top view. So that means to say that the switch should be on this particular 5 meters wall. So either this one or that one. Okay. Then it is given that it is at a height of 1.4 meters from the floor. But anyway, this particular 5 meters wall in this particular sketch represents where that particular thing in the I told you that this is 4.5 meters wall now. Okay, this is the height of the room. So if I see the perpendicular to this, so what is the distance I can see? That is over 5 meters wall. Okay, so if I want to visualize this particular uh, front view, you know that this is 4.5 meters, 4 meters, this is one wall. Then we have the other two side walls. So what are those two side walls? Those two side walls should correspond to this 5 meters. Then again we have this particular 4 point by 4. So remember, this particular rectangle represents two walls. It is not only one wall. But anyway, no need for you to write the name. It's not required. But anyway, we can visualize that the 5 meters wall in the top view is this line. Whereas in the front view, it should correspond to this line itself. Okay, anyway, I know that it should be either this. Now, tell me whether I can take this one or this one. I can take any one. Why I can take either on this particular 5 meters or this particular 5 meters? Because this particular fan location is kept centrally. Symmetrically, no? Since it is symmetrical, either I consider this particular 5 meters wall or this particular 5 meters wall. Otherwise, I would have given one more statement. In that particular case, I need to locate the location of the fan also. Properly. Is it okay? But in this particular case, I can take either of these two lines. Okay, what else then? It is at a height of 1.5 meters from the floor. Okay, floor means where do you get this? 
1.5 meters from the floor means what? I can see that in the front view. So 1.5 meters I will take some area. Okay. Okay. This 1.5 meters I can take and also I have given it is 2 meters from the side wall. What is the side wall now? Now if we just consider this particular figure. Now I said that these are all corresponding to long walls. So these are long walls. Then you have the ceilings. Then we have these walls now. So those walls are nothing but side or adjacent to that is adjacent to this particular long wall is your side wall. That is from this particular wall it is 2 meters. Is it okay? So it is 2 meters from that. So then how do you locate that particular point then? Then what I do is first I will locate the front view. So how do you locate the front view now? The front view it is 1.5 meters from the floor now. So from here I will take 1.5 meters. Okay, let us say some area I will get. Let us consider that point as switch point now. Let us call it as yes dash. Okay, now tell me where is your location of yes. Always remember yes dash yes should be on the same projector. Now I have considered this is my side wall. I mean this is my long wall. Now it is 2 meters from the side wall. Which side wall? This side wall or this side wall? I can take anything. Why I should I can take this one or this one? Because it is symmetrical. Since it is symmetrical, I will take 2 meters either from this wall or this wall. Okay, let us take from this itself. So, I will mark this. So, this will be yes. So, now as you can see, we have located the location of the or position of the fan as well as the position of the switch in both top and front view. Now, what is the problem given here? Here, I want to calculate, determine graphically the distance between switch and the fan. So what do we switch on the fan? That is this to this, this to this. So what I do then? I will simply join this. I will simply join this. Now as you can see, it is nothing but given projections determine the true length. Okay, how do you do it? So I will just make this line parallel x1 in one view as usual. So then what I do here is I will just uh, draw this uh, line. I will make it parallel. That is I am making this as S1. Then I am moving with F, that is F is fixed, whereas S will be moving on the locus. So where is the locus of S? It should be here only. So I will just draw this uh, locus line. Then I will shift this S1, it should be S1 dash. S1 dash. Now if I join in this, that is F dash to S1 dash is your true length. So what is the true length? Actually we are measuring this true length. What I can measure? Let us say it is equal to some XM. That's what you are going to get from the your drawing sheet. So what is the actual uh, distance then? Actual distance should be equal to X into scale factor. What is the scale factor we have taken? We have taken as 10 mm is equal to 0.5. Okay, but anyway we are given only in terms of mm. So 1 mm is 0.5 divided by 10. That is equal to 0.05. I will write this as 0.05. So this is your actual distance. Is it clear? Thank you.